Welcome back everybody to the random ruler roulette challenge yesterday tragically we were slain playing as the the horse lord over in Soitiscania. Thankfully it means I don't have to try and say Soitiscania anymore because now we are down in a much more easy to pronounce area of the world over in Greece where we are playing as whatever these words are. <laughs> so goals for this guy fairly obvious did talk about it briefly at the end of yesterday's episode but just to recap we are Hellenic. We have control of some parts of Greece. We are currently under uh, Edmund, the bean counter of Yugoslavia. Free and for our people, uniting uh, kind of the kind of the shadow of Byzantium and, and recreating kind of an Alexandrian empire perhaps might make a lot of sense with this guy. As always, we are going to try and roleplay the characters a little bit based on their stats and traits. This guy was a bit of a blank page until we actually gave him a decent education to round things off there. Brilliant strategist, good leader, probably going to be another quite warfare-focused guy. Honest and proud. So I think this is a guy who would probably be quite chivalrous is, is, I think, the right word for it. So let's go for... I mean, I know it's the right word for it, but <laughs> you, you know what I meant. Let's go for the companions. Rather than the berserkers, maybe the warriors go, but I don't think the berserkers suit him too much. Like, the last guy was ambitious and wrathful, so they suited him a bit more. The companions. Um, Alexander Anaxorgi declared war for the title of the ruler of Olympus. His cousins and friends flock to his side from the human world and the underworld. That would make some sense. Bearing in mind, our guy is of House uh, Olympos. He is Hellenic. This sounds pretty good and fighting to prove himself. He would gladly do that. He's a proud man and he knows where his strengths lie. Absolutely. Fight to prove yourself. Despotis Ilias, the silent tongue of the companions, have chosen Panos as my opponent, the middle-aged man, eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers mocking me before shoving an elbow into the side, making everybody laugh. A duel for honor and we kicked his ass. Nice work. Want to stand closer? He spotted us. No, I'm done. I yield. Good start. Incredible start, actually. <laughs> we died instantly, huh? <laughs> so, how, what's, what's our game plan here? So, down in the Cypriot League, that's, of course, where we started our last playthrough in, in after the end. We, we set out from the Cypriot League up towards Atlantis. Uh, we have an Orthodox... What were they? Yeah, Confederation. That's it. An Orthodox Confederation across the... Uh, uh, across some of the central Aegean islands there, and then down in Crete as well. Chandax is part of Anatolia, so that's the other Hellenic ruler on the other side. Slightly different culture to us. Um, he is currently actually a tribute to Israel. So all of the kind of Hellenic cultures are, are very much trapped right now. Istanbul would make a fine target. Because they are just an independent kind of duchy plus i guess they are slightly larger than a duchy uh base game would be closer to i guess the duchy of uh, the kingdom of, of what like nasir so they are quite large let's start fabricating some claims on that actually let's start placing our council because they seem very angry what's wrong with you opinion of predecessor minus 45 wow i don't know what our previous character or this character's previous oh shit it was a great pox oh he had great pox and that probably drove him mad right wrathful Paranoid, probably wasn't the nicest guy. Proud as well, obviously working against him there. Well, shit. So we've we've inherited a, pr a pretty hefty legacy. We have to try and redeem House Olympos uh, in in the eyes of their vassals. Okay, I think we can do that. I don't think that's too terrible. Can we have a, a feast or something like that? Such a smith. Um, no, we can't. Okay, this is going to be quite tricky then for a little while. Um, it's the best way to endear ourselves to our vassals. Kind of a feast or anything. Well, let's go and let her go for a start. I don't know who you are. Um, Nigerian Empire can maybe get like like a master engineer for the for the province bonuses. That way, if things do go wrong, we've got a nice bonus in that regard. Um, obviously, as we build ourselves up and gain you know renown and prestige through the companions, as we prove that we are not our father's son, so literally, then I think we'll probably do a, pr a pretty a pretty good amount of diplomacy just via kicking around being a, again a prestigious proud ruler. I think the first thing we want to unify then, let's take these Aegean Islands um, seeing as they are pretty much on their own there. Oh, there's also a merchant republic here. Look at that Catholic Byzantine uh, merchant republic. We could try and unify those. Oh, we can go on conquests. Oh, good. Okay. Um, right, what have we got down here? Loads of separate islands. This mod is very particular about the amount of islands. You might notice there's quite a lot. I think there was some up the coast of... Uh, Kind of Croatia down towards Byzantium here. We've got a lot of separate little islands. You might notice around the UK, they've got like the Isles of Scilly there, the Channel Islands, Anglesey is separate. So there's a, a lot of extra stuff to keep an eye out for. Don't be surprised basically if I miss something, if we're trying to create a, a du jour duchy and I end up missing, you know, a big chunk of some of the land. Oh, the other thing to point out as well, the dev actually asked me to take a look at the regions. So we do actually have where we are right now. We're in the wine resource region. So Southern Europe, basically. Um, we can grow 
wine. You know, we can build unique, grow wine, grow grapes, obviously, for wine. But we can, um, we can put down some unique buildings, uh, vineries, vine, vineyards, wineries. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we can stick some of those down too. And then it's also worth noting that we are in the Israel merchant region as well. So we can actually borrow money from the Jews if we're in this particular area, which is obviously mostly going to be the Mediterranean there. Right, let's do it. Also, the Byzantine soundtrack is is probably one of the biggest bangers out of CK2. Let's let him heal up for a start before we get too into making some enemies. Maybe going out there conquesting rounds. Maybe this guy wouldn't be a bad start, though. Um, just conquest that. We can claim it. Gives us 100 prestige. We lose nothing for declaring the war. Wouldn't be too bad. Um, claim it for one of our vassals. Absolutely not. We could force vassalize. It's a waste of time. Just your claim. We lose 500 prestige. Okay, let's just go ahead and claim it then. Get this one out of the way. We can almost certainly win this. We've got, you know, more than enough trips to wipe this one out. Just unify what we can when we get the opportunity to do so. Unify our kind of, uh, our, our coastal borders at least. I'd love to say Constantinople. I think we could chalk it up as somewhat of a win if we manage to get Constantinople back under, back under Greek rule. Oh, so we have the, the Harispacy events. Um, bits of a pain in the ass, aren't they? Quite expensive. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much. Morale of armies minus 10%. Right, always worth bearing in mind that that will happen. Uh, just because that's how it do here. Oh, here we go. Battle of Demetrius. Right, so they have caught us with the plans down a little bit. We are going to reinforce, so that's not a problem. March over the plains of Demetrius when I realize how this experience has become a matter of course. Flanking or plain? Flat terrain expert. Um, shit, that's what we're going to end up with. Trickster and flat terrain expert. That's not ideal. It's not quite the inspiring leader, direct leader I'd normally like to go for. But I guess we'll take it. Sure. Warrior pilgrimage would be interesting if we try and do that. I have no idea what. I, as I recall, flat terrain expert, any of the um, kind of terrain leadership traits end up upgrading and something really, really good. Got to call on our allies. That, of course, being our suzerain, but I managed to join a defensive war. It's a maybe. He has to join, obviously, uh, defensive wars, but offensive wars, that's, that's, that's down to us. So I'm not going to rely on Yugoslavia to come and bail us out if I make a, a shitty decision or try and do anything super ambitious expecting... Uh, Yugoslavia to basically come in and help us out with that. Right, let's go for his capital then. This shouldn't take two seconds to get this one. Ah, oh, there we go. Get this one under our ram. Nice start. I would like to also conquest. I think one of the big goals would be to take out the other half of the kind of Hellenic culture here. Like I said, controlling the Aegean Sea would be our top priority. So if we take these guys out, maybe launch an invasion, force of Asalize, whatever big Cassus Bella we've got to try and swallow up the whole thing, that'd be pretty nice. And that war is over. Very good. Um, I should have. I don't know why I went for war focus immediately. Um, we should have definitely gone for family focus, seduction focus, something like that while we tried to build up a dynasty a little bit. Okay, that's not a bad start. I guess this damn ball is actually next on our chopping block. Enemy... Oh, right, there we are. Sorry, I had to let the game tick and uh, clear out all those sieges. So we've got a retinue. It wasn't very much from what I recall. They've got to reinforce, yeah, I mean, 1,200 heavy infantry. Give it a while. Hey, old Fletching, as a member of the clan, we strive to better ourselves and each other. Sp a sparring match with Sassos. How are we doing? 24 versus 24, really? God, this guy's bad. Okay, go on then. We'll give it a go. Now, bear in mind, we want to try and make the dynasty as good as possible. Collect artifacts, things that last down. Because the roulette, unlike a, like I said, unlike the true random roulette, we have a decent chance, not fantastic, but a good chance of potentially gaining, uh, potentially playing some of these characters again. You never know. Our next two random characters, one of them might be uh, Soka, Sokastania, wherever we were playing last time. Gurgen, great king of Transnistria, I assume that is. Yeah. Gogan, the great king of Transnistrians, is distraught over the poor metal of his countrymen. Knowing well our skill in battle, he's decided to form a bodyguard consisting solely of Hellenic warriors. Wow. I am the Varangian now. Those that serve him in the great city of Megapoli are, are generously rewarded. Even now, many of our young men eager for riches and adventure have departed to Transnistria. So, I assume that means we essentially get the kind of Germanic decision of sending some of our kids off to the Varangian guard, quote-unquote. That's fine. That's quite a good idea if we do want to go for a more heavy martial-focused character, which, to be honest, be honest we probably will. <laughs> what else is do we just have against Istanbul? Nothing, really? Raised army levies, eh? Oh. God knows where they were. They were probably on one of those many nebulous islands that I was talking about. Um, nebulous islands are not actually part of Greece. That's just an expression. Right, we can just conquest Istanbul if we want to. We gain all of the titles as well. That'd be quite nice. Hellenic 1% moral authority. Would call in all other Sunni Muslim rulers. Just bear that in mind. And there are quite a few in our immediate vicinity. Um, uh, oh, unless it doesn't count as a... No, you know what? Pegasus and Amas can conquer Sunni County Council without specific reasons. I'm, I'm, am I wrong? They can't call in 
Oh, it's Holy Wars. Sorry, I haven't played much of this game. <laughs> I haven't been playing. I'm, I haven't really played much DK2. It's been a long time, to be fair, since we played pagans who have the ability to do single county conquests. You know, it's basically just what like Norse in the base game. Um, I, what else is there? It's like um. I mean, any really of the offensive pagans, I guess. Before our troops can test the metal against our enemies, this time we will sacrifice. We're trying to get back Constantinople. A mighty bull. No, we can't afford that. A mighty bull. Maybe a cow. Fuck off. God, I really don't like... I've said this before. The Hellenic events are garbage, aren't they? They're really bad. Like, they're so clunky. I don't... I, they, they need a buff. Especially when you compare it to, like, Catholicism, which is just take all the bonuses you want. Um... Well, look, let's bring... Let's hire these guys. Where do they spawn in? Oh, pretty decently close. Okay. Um, let's take these guys down. We'll let them take the capital. Oh, Parthena Olympus. Libra. Stewardship. Again, you get the star signs to Hellenic, which is pretty garbage. Um, right, I need some naming schemes then for a new dynasty. Olympus. We could go for, like... Um, we could go for, like, uh, like gods. As I recall, in the After the End uh, Hellenic Pantheon, some of the gods are regarded as evil. Right, there we are. So, Ares is good. Um, Anna, An 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 Anaxorgos uh, is the high god. Ares, Triton, Hades, Athena, uh, Philomelus, uh, Zeus, Poseidon, Dionysus, Hermes, Angelos, and Typhon are evil. Okay, there you are. Alexander the Great overthrew Zeus. Twin brother of Athena. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, so, worship Alexander the Great. That's quite an interesting twist. I guess we'll call you Alexandria. Perfect. I'm not just going to have Alex's and Alexandria's for this one. Oh, I could. That'd be quite funny. Victor's and Victoria's for the other one. Alex's and Alexandria's for this one. That'd be pretty good. Um, humility for you, I think. Why break the habit of a lifetime? Right, let's get these guys decently into position. If only there was some sort of uh, wooden creation that would allow us to cross a great ocean. But surely no such thing because Sorry, who the hell was that? Did they hire troops? Oh. Boru is captured in Atlas, now my prisoner. Goodbye. We can make sacrifices. Battlefield sacrifices is quite nice. Um What was that about? This is where those people came from. Right, merge them together. They bloody are hiring mercenaries. They can't do that. <laughs> Only I can hire mercenaries, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's move in. Right, good luck. Uh straight crossings, river crossings, any crossings. What are we looking at? Uh, straight to Corinth. Okay, I'm gonna worry about them. Get in there. Kill them all. We're on the center. 28, 9. I was gonna say our commanders are a bit shitty, but they haven't even bothered to bring commanders, so I think we're probably doing better than them. Where's the commander? I'll kill him myself. Will we? 3 versus 35. Yes, we will. Show no mercy. Everything is just in war. That's the attitude I like. Boom. Get him killed. Chase him down. Very nice. Each ring of my sword has sent me deeper into enemy territory. Before I know it, I'm surrounded with a burst of energy. I roar loudly, causing a few of them to hesitate. And one unfortunate soldier to stagger backwards, tripping over a rock. Coming out, but notice he drops a weapon in, in the mud. I'll take that blade and send you back to Aloe with it. We gain a knife. And knife. It's better than nothing, I guess. Knife of the hills. Oh, that's cool. Uh, in spite of its lack of quality, Despotis Eusebius kept this weapon on display after bringing it back from the Battle of Euboia. That's cool. Personal government's a couple of swipes. That's better than nothing, right? Especially in a, in a warrior lodge. That's quite nice. So they are going to take a straight crossing into us. Surely we've got better commanders. Barely. Oh, God. Okay, let's check the round. We're a king now. Surely we've got somebody slightly better. Saint Just. Our our surrogate father. Incredible by comparison. Oh, some of these guys are so much better. What the hell? Thank you also assigned commanders. Right, we'll, get, we'll take a flank then. Let's auto-balance just in case. Good luck. Oh, they stopped. Well, that's a bit silly. Right. Good luck. That was a bit dangerous because they look like they are they are horsey boys, but we're good. Oh! On our way to the plains of Athens, a huge boulder blocks our way. I've been riding for days. My muscles are aching for a real challenge. Recruit, hand me that hammer. What the hell? We just gained brawny for free. Wow. And we sacrificed the leader of their mercenary band. This is a hell of a story already. We've turned this poor timid boy whose father was a bit of a lunatic into this mighty warrior. All it took was a good education and a hammer. <laughs> Beating him into shape quite literally. Proud, 22 Marshall. Holy shit, what a guy. Let's take our capital back. Um, let's talk strategy and then we've just got to go and... we just got that, you know, very minor thing of taking Constantinople, that's all. Not too difficult. Um, Blackmail the vassal, do nothing for now. Don't upset the vassals. I'll, I'll do it kind of manually. Well, not manually, but I'll uh, I'll try and do it with a bit more caution rather than immediately blackmailing the vassals who already hate us quite a lot. Right, okay. Let's chase their troops down. If we can catch them, we can catch them. Oh, God. 
The Ivory Hunters Lodge in Thessalonica. Ivory Hunters in Thessalonica? What are we hunting for ivory there, people? Uh, we'll abandon the operation, at which point I assume we just lose the building, right? Um, Thessalonica. Ivory Hunters Lodge. What the hell are you talking about? That's very weird. Okay. Um, we'll abandon, because I'm not spending 165 gold when I basically have to spend that just on war. Do we want a commander or do we want some uh, technology? 103 gold for 30 military tech. Sure, we'll take that. That's a better deal than bloody ivory lodge. Well, this is going to take quite some time, so strap him. Once we've got this, we're, we're good. You know, we're, we're sweeping out the power base of Istanbul there. 45% uh, chance of gaining Gregarious. Wow. Why is that? Uneasiness around guests and strangers then evolved into awkwardness. Try to be more Gregarious. Yeah, 50% chance of stress, but 45% of Gregarious. Neither. I think we had that as our last character, too. Don't. What have we. We've spoken about hiring mercenaries. You're not allowed to do that. That's illegal. God damn, they put up a hell of a fight. Okay, let's be careful here. We are playing on very hard, so not don't don't really take the initiative unless we know that we can definitely win it. See, this is uh that's getting a little hit and miss. What the fuck? I can't believe they're doing so well. It's only us holding the center that's keeping this bloody army from falling apart. Now we haven't got enough people to siege. How are they doing this? Their morale damage must be gigantic. <laughs> oh, the regular damage, I should say. Wow. Okay, um, there's been a change of plan. We are on the center now. You can't be trusted, Saint Just. We've got, I mean, we've got planes, expert. I suppose that'll do around here, right? Let's get some troops. This is not ideal. This is kind of falling apart pretty fast. Um, how many boys do I want to bring in? 397 gold. Uh, gilded daggers? Sure. Let's get a few extra troops because we can't, like I said, we can't even siege Istanbul anymore. Oh, fuck off. Unbelievable. Get out of here. Fuck off. You can't just keep hiring bloody mercenaries. <laughs> right. Same just. Back over center. Turns out you're doing an all right job after all. Right. Okay. Hold hold the line. Let's stay here. Let's let our retinue reinforce slightly. 223 soldiers per month. We'll cut these guys off if we can, but we'll shatter them in our own territory so that we have that reinforcement time. Yeah, that's what I like to see. There we are. Uh, but the apostate. E oh, I mean, come on. Impaler. Frail. Cruel. Lustful. Oh, come on. Burn him. Light him up. Oh, I suppose here comes the battle again. What? Are they a holy order or something? Because these guys are so strong. There we are. KGB spread to Germany. KGB have expanded their influence against using another castle, this time in eastern Germany. How are they doing? They're fucking gigantic. <laughs> wow. They've picked up like a few duchies here, huh? Look at that. Vladimir. Vladimir the philosopher. Picking up a castle in east Germany too there. Naumburg. Wow, okay, keep an eye on the KGB. I think they're a bit far away for us to worry about, but again, we might end up randoming a character up there, so worth uh, worth knowing what's going on in the world. Let's try and keep ourselves a bit more informed than we normally would in this series, rather than just focusing on our region. Right, so we'll be selling this day because we killed 17 dudes. Let's try and siege it. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever if we're constantly going back and forth fighting their bloody mercenaries all the time. Oh, fuck off, really? How has this gone so badly? <laughs> How have you people got this much money? Fuck. Well, this has turned out to be quite difficult. They are just absolutely loaded. And I've never seen the AI actually do such a good job of buying mercenaries before. Uh, let's call them in. Yeah. Uh, sorry, can I get your help with this one, Chief? Otherwise, I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Of course, I'll answer your obligation. Well, thank you. Okay. You got Yugoslavia coming in as well. Genuinely, if it wasn't for these guys, I think we would be in a little bit of a fucky wucky here. Okay. Um, 1,300. Is that all we got? Jesus. Right. Give me some uh, give me some boats. Let's port these guys over. We must have some... Oh, we've got Sicily. That's one of our holy sites, isn't it? Syracuse. Uh, it is. Oh, nice. How close are we to reforming? Oh, my God. All we need is moral authority. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, a new avenue unlocked. Um, this guy wants to marry my sister. It would be a hell of an alliance, but obviously we want to take their lands. Keep him as a friend for now. No, they've only got 357 men. We, we, we would be fighting Israel, but they've only got 3,000 men. Decline it. No, no, no. We're all right, thank you. In of pride, I guess. Not wanting to call in Yugoslavia because, you know, we're a, we're a mighty ruler. We don't need their help. We, we do. We do. We've cost thousands of lives. Now's the time to really, really accept that maybe we're not the all-powerful that we accepted we were. A slice of humble pie for our proud ruler. Uh, Marshall. Yeah, you're a fantastic Marshall. Need to make sure he's not actually marshalling right now until we're done with this war. Those things. He's also our best commander. Should invest in 
Military. Standing army. Always standing army. Um, dedicated temple. No, thank you. Oh, terrible Hellenic mechanics. Don't tell Paradox I said that. They raised troops on me. You bloody raised troops on me. Luckily, we're fine. So we get for raising troops on me. Uh, why are there guys? They've got 47 defenders. Okay, we actually stand a chance here. 25 defenders. Oh, shit. I don't know why they're falling apart, but as long as they don't hire some more troops. We've actually got this in the bag. Heavy mud blade added to their inventory. What happened to him? He died. Dysentery. Well, uh, is that why it's called the heavy mud blade? Oh, look at that. Um, a weapon lost by Turk soldiers. Can't, Saint just kept the weapon on display. Um, it's better than the knife of the hills. Quality two. Sure. We'll swap it over. Saint Just, thank you, my friend. You were you were a great marshal. You're a great educator. We need a new one though, like <laughs> right now, if you don't mind. Let's get these guys to court. Let's bring them in. The war score right now is looking a little hit and miss. But bear in mind, we haven't taken any war goals since the start of the war, so it's kind of understandable that uh, that our war goal. There we are, 93. percent We're just getting 70 percent from that. Is this a battle we can win? 1900 of their ridiculously overpowered troops versus 1700 of ours. I think I went light infantry though, didn't I, for the retinue. Well, I've learned a valuable lesson here today. Good luck. Jesus, even with our incredible commanders. Wow. Okay, um... Stinky retinue, get out of here. Should we just go for cataphracts? <laughs> How much have we got? 750 gold, fuck it. All in on the cataphracts. It's not going to be that many after all. How many have we got there? Yeah, I mean, 750 horsemen. That's fine, that could turn the tide of a battle. How many army levies we got? Sorry, Yugoslavia, you know I called you in to actually help me with my frigging war? Is this what it's like being on the other side of the coin? <laughs> when an ally calls you in and you just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Apparently they have their own problems, who'd have thought? Can I get you to attach? See if he will actually join us. See if the AI will, uh... What do they do? They leave the war, because... Oh no, it's still the same dude. I thought it was overthrown then. Good God! Fucking... Where are you getting this money from? <laughs> 1,600 gold and he's hired more troops. This is nuts. Um, should we hire the Red Army? Should I just go all in on it? Otherwise, this war's never going to end. No, we need to be a bit more... The Golden Lions. Heavy infantry. Camels. Archers. Done. That's a good mixed band there. Christ almighty. I was trying to save a little bit of gold. Because, of course, declaring war costs us money. Dedicating temples costs us money. Everything costs money as Hellenic. Wow. I will say that. We did just get a mountain of gold from one of our... Uh, one of our Flogies buildings there. Um, we can rank up. I think we'll leave it for the time being, if that's all right. We'll deal with that later. Um, let's make sure we got our best commander then. Thank you. And Vladimir. 24, 22, 22. Maximum morale. 6,728 6, versus 4,041. If, if this doesn't... If we can't win this, there's no way in hell we can win this war. And look, even then they knocked our morale down. Fucking very hard difficulty. Get out of here. How did these... Where did these people come from? What are you talking about? Oh, this is the oh, it's a plague. You had 25 people the first time I was here, and then suddenly you've... What, you've employed a 1,000 people overnight? Unbelievable. Right, let's be fast. We're also putting our lives on the line here, and we haven't got a decent air yet, so... Worth mentioning. 93%. Okay, can we knock the next level down? We could bloody try it. What are they sieging? Oh, I don't care about what they're sieging. Let's just make sure we get the war goal at this point. Make sure we embed ourselves quite nicely. That way we can chase that down, counter-siege that, probably end this war. Uh, yeah, sure, ask politely. This does count as a war goal, don't forget, because we are in a... Crash! Oh! Right, here we go. Uh, ask my wife to, to, to be swayed. 91%, about to take the next layer of Constantinople. Here we go. 99%, counter-siege it. Win this battle, counter-siege, we're done. We're out, we're free. Everything's good, everything's fine. 24, 22, oh god, and what are we taking there? River crossing, nope. We go that way. We go that way. Nope. Uh, okay. Forget I said anything. Oh, we're fucking mover locked. What are you talking about? That was like two seconds. Okay, whatever. We, we should be fine, right? Should be fine. We're fine. Uh, kind of siege this, and we are done. Knock it down. Don't give him a chance. Boom. What a pain in the ass that was. Thank you. Look at this now. The Greek conquest of Istanbul has ended. Constantinople. This is a good capital, too. Uh, let's create a new vassal. It's our religion, our culture, obviously. You can invite local. That's a good idea. Um, create a new vassal in Galata. Uh, Heron, new vassal for you. We'll hold on to Deuteron. Uh, Black... Bl 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 
and Constantinople, obviously. Hagia Sophia, very nice. Look at this. And this will be our capital because they've already upgraded this one quite significantly for us. We'll just we'll just get our stuff moved over. Boom. The rightful capital. Back where it should be. Hagia Sophia. My augur Odysseus wants to convert the Hagia Sophia to the true faith as soon as possible so our people can worship in the Grandiose building. We should let it be or we should convert it to the true Hellenic faith. 200 piety. Done. 29 moral authority. We lost 4 moral authority by the way in that time. <clears throat> Taking the Hagia Sophia back. Turned it into a massive Hellenic holy site. Minus 4% moral authority, for fuck's sake. Okay. I can see it's going to be a case of having to take... Oh, Alexandria. Oh, Alexandria's independent, though. And it's a... Brother. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not get too carried away here. Don't be hasty, Master Hobbitses. Let's let our troops reinforce. Boom. We've got all of our buildings coming into play now because we have... Uh, a relatively pre-built Constantinople here. This is nice. Look at this. Let's start getting ourselves some extra buildings. Uh, there are a lot of extra buildings, by the way, added in after the end of the world. We do have Floggy's Tech Mod because it does work with this, which I think is only uh, only to the mod's credit. Uh, and, of course, you know how much I love Floggy's Tech Mod. All the economy stuff is absolutely my jam. Oh, so here we go. This is one of the first big personality changes we're going to be making to our guy. Ever since the Battle of Athen Athenii, I feel it hard to be near my children for fear of being sent away again. I cannot stand the thought of us losing one another. I need a drink. Drunk and cynical. I do not have Nightmare Servant. How dare you? Wouldn't say that. He's honest. Uh, but he is proud. That's true. Never kills 21 again against Celibate. I feel like that's a little too extreme. Enough these feelings by An An Anaxo Orgos. I'll punch someone. Getting wrath. Any of them would be, a, uh, I mean, a, a decent choice uh, for, for the actual character, that is. I need a drink. <laughs> I mean, that's fairly honest. That one is is because of his pride. And because 20 million, I feel like it's the only one that doesn't really make much sense, you know. Um, I do not have Nightmare Servant. How dare you? But that's the one I think that suits him best because of, his, because of his pride. How dare a servant assume that their, that their king would ever have something so silly as nightmares? Oh, we seem to be the technology capital of the world again. Really? Uh, still is Constantinople, huh? 21, 21, 21. Transnistria has... Oh, wow, we really are. 21, 21 in Yugoslavia, too. Yeah. We've got insanely good advances. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Hang on. Yeah, no, we've got great advances. Okay, another one about stick to scheming, then. Um, If we can proselytize, that would be ideal. Start flipping Constantinople back over to Hellenic. I say back over as, <laughs> as if it's been that way for, you know, 2,000 years or more. Pretty wench is throwing herself at you. Uh, I can't resist her. Gain lustful. Uh, or mind over body. Mind over body. What do you think? Proud? I, th I think a proud man wouldn't go for a wench. And he's honest. Nah. He's, he's honest to his wife. He's honest to himself. His wife is pregnant. You are rewarded for your honesty. Uh, my auger wants some advanced medicine better. Uh, this is probably worth it. He's already a renowned physician, so... You want my half-sister to marry your... Nope, I think this guy's trying to win himself an alliance. You get that feeling? Weird, huh? Don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> I don't even want to try and figure out what the hell this war's all about. So defending against... Prefer... Pre pre prefer... 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 Sure. Anacost, the second of the South Aegean Islands. Make him pay tribute. Okay, so Jerusalem are trying to stop... Or Israel, I should say. Trying to stop these guys paying tribute. Okay. And then we've got Page Rogers the Justin, the Holy Wolf of Rhodes. Uh, and what are they? They are sunny. Oh, wow. This is... That's where all my bloody moral authority is going. Honestly, the sooner this guy goes under, the better. Go for some economy buildings then. Two slaughterhouses. And let's go for... Go for another slaughterhouse. That's like nine tax overall there. Um, what, you, what else can we build in the capital here? Merchant guilds? Not too terrible. We do have the grain mill already. Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we want to go for. Jewel merchant. Tax income plus five, but we need 400 gold. Good God. Uh, let's go for the slaughterhouse house then. Start turning this place into an economic powerhouse because we have all the opportunities to do so here. Seven slot holding for a start. Is it on a trade route? It is. Um, we can't do much about that, unfortunately, because apparently the Habsburgs have gotten to it. Not the Habsburgs. The Habs Habsburgs with a B. Um, it's a bit annoying. Shit. Wow, they do go back quite a while, though, don't they, huh? All the way back to this guy. What was he from? 2159. They've done a lot of history for this mod, too. That's crazy. An exceptional year at the Steel Furnace in Sparta. Excellent. Now, bear in mind that will, as obviously, uh, I can go both ways. We could end up with just a terrible year at the Steel Furnace in Sparta. end up costing us gold. Dedicate a temple. I never want to do that, so I'm just going to disable that and probably miss out on some other important uh, 
targeted decisions. I'm gonna push it to Jean Clem on this guy's capital before everyone else and their mother gets to it. I think that's probably not a bad plan. Um, otherwise, we're gonna have to fight like somebody significantly larger for it. So I'd rather just go and grab it now while we can. Can't join the wars at this time. Yeah. See, this is why I said we need to be careful about involving Yugoslavia because they might not just want to join. To be honest. Right, let's get you guys on the coast. Another daughter, Uterpa, Leo. How about uh, Alexandria? No, I can't. Can I? Maybe that's our naming scheme. Every dynasty we play as, boys have one name, girls have another, and we just see if by the time we come back to it, they still have the same name. We've got a challenge and a challenge. Okay, you know what? And plus, the confusion factor will be incredible to mine for humor. That is, that is going to be amazing when I can't fucking work out who anyone is. Or really annoying, one or the other. We're in position. Give me a capital. Can't see it. Someone else already has. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, in that case, forget this war. <laughs> a little bit late to the party on that one. That's my bad. Uh, instead, we'll take Alexandria while it's independent. Conquest. Give me that. Let's go. Is there still the, the lighthouse? The lighthouse is sunk. Understandable. Um, we will go and... Is there the lighthouse? In hindsight, bit of a silly question, given that this takes place in 2580. I'll let you work out why. <laughs> <laughs> right, off we go then. Um, <laughs> let's get our people onto ships. So they've hired troops. 1799, they're at half morale. We're taking a river crossing because I landed on the wrong bloody side, you moron. Oh, they've left. Excellent. Well, that makes my... No. Get out of here. No. I'm not helping these guys. Oh, for fuck's sake. And now some other idiot's trying to get it. Why is it people beating me to my bloody walls that I want? Oh, is this fool? Get out of here. Plot to kill. <laughs> I don't think we'll I don't think we'll pull that one off, but we can always, always give it a go. Shit. Well, we were literally a second too late to that one, so now we're not going to win that one. Unless they die of attrition. Um, if you're going to kill their armies, try and get them into a kind of uh, deadlock with war score. Where do they go? They actually sent it to Constantinople. They're actually going to siege it? How? That took me about 40 years. Okay, we're good. Make Sacrifice him. Get out of here. We could also capture the guy if he's leading troops. Are you leading troops? Coward. No, he's not. Right, 44%. Boom. See, we've got him in a, in a good amount of war score now where the other guy is not going to be able to potentially get any war score because we've killed all of his troops, hence the 75%. Right, let's get on some boats and let's see what damage we can do. Run, my boys. Get out of here. Right, when they move, we'll move in and see if we can counter siege. Uh, don't... Hang on. There is a way we can do it. Oh, we can't mark them as raiders because we're... Not a piece, bollocks. So you say if we mark them as raiders, turn hostile, then we can counter siege their sieging. Um, should have just made them raiders. I'll try and remember to do that in the future. Oh, bollocks. In Constantinople, you say. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many was that? Oh, 15,000. Right, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge because they'll split their troops up. 25% uh, chance of gaining just. Marshal Calais. We gained just. Wow. Holy shit. We're, we're proving to the people of, of Greece that we are not our tyrant father's son. That's good. We are cruel, though. How do we get cruel? How did we get cruel? I have no idea. Six gold, though, I'll take. I need those for mercenaries at the rate we're going. Right. 5,000 there. Let's, okay, let's let's do that. Let's preempt some mercenaries. We can't afford to lose Constantinople after all that effort we, all that effort and money, more importantly, we spent on trying to do it the first time. Let's give him a wide berth. Let's do something like that. Have a meet up there. Right, come on. That's it. All ass. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Uh, write a letter about me. I'm so great. I took Constantinople and immediately lost it. I declared two walls, both of which are going to end inconclusively because someone else has beat me to it. Right, let's give it a go. They're not moving. That's great to see. Uh, sounds like a solid investment. Do it, though. Not for not for 200 gold, it doesn't. All right, there we are. That'll do. There are any peasants, too, right? Or is it religious uprising? It's only uprising. Bollocks. Um, well, he's quite clearly got cavalry based on the fact that that man's sitting on a horse rather than another man. Unless he's two men in a suit. Um, we could just wait for them to attrition down a little bit. I'll stand in our own capital, reinforce, and then we'll uh, stand in our own realm, I should say. Reinforce, and then we'll come swing around and take him out. See, they're losing a lot of troops just to sieging anyway, because that's how sieging works, funnily enough. Um, 8,000. I'm feeling a bit more confident about that. Go on. Oh! <gasps> That's cool. I am one with the gods. I find myself chanting with each swing of my sword. For Greece, I roar with my weapon cutting to... 
Cutting the soul out of anybody dare step away. Bodies and blood fill the plains, and I keep bellowing my battle cry. I wash in a river of extinguished lives. I feel alive. We lose the trait depressed, and we are known as the Wrath of Ares. And we can duel the commander, and we've killed him dead. Holy shit, what a journey. That's incredible. All fear the Wrath of Ares. What a fucking guy. That's awesome. Get rid of him. Sawn in half. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Right, let's go and take Alexandria. Revolt is not is now a realm. Protracted revolt in Catalonia is ended in stalemate. The former rebels are ruled by their intended liege, Joffrey Possus in the Lydian Catalonia. Wow. Now, bear in mind some of the events you will see. Well, I've got a massive mod pack, as I normally tend to. So, please check the description uh, for a full list of mods. I've actually added some more because I forgot to include things like Rich Childhood and uh, the LMN suite. Um, which will all be linked as well. Look at this. Hang on. We can swoop in and take it now. We counter-sieged. Assault. We're done. Oh my god, we got Alexandria as well. Brother, imagine if the Wrath of Ares were to reform the Hellenic faith. Big if true. Could we get a claim on that one? And then just sink every last man, woman, and child into taking that province. What's it called? Gord, Gord, Gordon Servan. My man, Gordon Servan. Mr. Servan, to you. Uh, where is he again? Definitely that one. I just wanted to double check before I set my... <laughs> before I set, set my diplomat there for six months on his finance around bloody province. Not that I would ever do anything so silly. Right, join court. Yes, 23. Okay, well, I guess you're better. Send him a gift. Let's chuck him uh, my good man, Dirk. Let's give you Custodian of the Mosque. Is that a title from the Hagia Sophia? I guess so. Get over there. Was that the right province? Hang on, just triple checking. Good. If we can get that, massive. 16% chance yearly. Five years, potentially. It looks as if these guys have actually clawed back their realm slightly. The capital's still under siege, but... Uh, who? Aurora's at the right hand of St. Demetrius. she die? What happened? She's in prison. What? You son of a bitch, he got my wife. How did he do that? What? He sieged Constantinople with an army of 420 just blaze. Oh, I guess that's why they were so successful in the siege. Huh? Sorry, I'll be taking those back. This is a mechanic I'd like to see in CK3. Uh, n not potentially saying that... Okay, hang on. I'm not saying that there is or is not. This was just a kind of... You know how I've been saying this quite literally for about three years now. It's just my catchphrase at this point. Um, what is a mechanic I'd like to see in CK2. Saved it. If we were to... Stop an army as they're retreating with our people, obviously quite clearly captured. Delivering prisoners should be very similar, in my opinion, to delivering loot. Because that way it gives you an, a, an incentive to... It gives you... But it should be easier to capture prisoners. You should be able to focus on that. Does that make sense? Because they're valid war targets, but then we can get it. It's quite literally through luck. We'll maybe think about seeing how feasible that would be to mod in. That could be kind of cool. Oh. There we are. As the days drag on, seemingly never ending, you barely have any time to keep your eyes open. So much for the Wrath of Ares. Anyway, let's call it there for today, because I'm getting carried away with this guy, because he's actually ended up being pretty fucking cool. Brawny, just, cruel, powerful. I'm surprised he hasn't got Zealous, to be honest. That seems weird that that, that event would not give you Zealous, given that you're screaming about how you're the Wrath of God or whatever as you cut down infidels, and then you get in the Wrath of Ares. Not a Zealous, man. He's actually just a bit tired at this point. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying playing as the separate separate characters getting a good feeling for the world and obviously keeping things nice and fresh with just kind of random characters as in now and then it's quite cool thank you to our executive coffee producers of the day including ben dpb carl my doctor hero of my crotch philosophical you prize callum james three scott l fire scream sideshow c tom p skaz ethox devorda simba remember who you are i stab cows zetlock and over at patreon we have Darth Hawk, Vacuous Backers, Xerix, Under the Couch, Layla, Pang Power, Facuna Vasquez, Anthony Gawley, Chris, Justin Rules, Angelo, Michael Mullen, Scare, Blueberry, Cross Skull, and Shay. A big thank you to all of these people for their support over at those various platforms and, you know, the final, final few days of Patreon lists here. And then we're back down to our regular shout-out schedule. So, big thanks to you guys for, for being part of both platforms if you are. Thank you as well to Laurel and Thomas, Panthpil, Devorda, Aramis, Prometheo, Voodoo Mumbo, Archbishop, Danny, Mythomatic, Couch, Sister Grey, Luciola, Betamus, Max, Tempe, and Fenrir for their support over at Patreon. And finally, we have Ribbit, Panthapel, Athom, Monster, The Thick Mick, Noises Dungeon, Dancing Lucifer, Conchawabi, Groggy, Ray Karinga, Sanit Lover, Madness, Elnada, Stormcrower, and 
Piratica for all of their supports on those various platforms. Thank you to you guys for making the channel possible. Thank you for making Modern possible, the mod packs possible, the rim world possible. It all going smoothly and nice and good. I'll see you all tomorrow.